welcome back to you, me and the family. Hope you are all well and have had a great weekend. It has been a quite quiet one here over the weekend. We've got a few little jobs done, but um, we mainly just kind of took it easy this weekend, ready for kind of some chaotic weeks to come. So it was kind of the only kind of calm weekend we was going to get. And um, now it's back to reality of housework, mum life, shopping, washing, ironing, <laughs> housework, you know, mum life. Um, after I dropped Nathan off at nursery and Shane at school, I did go to... Look, the sun's coming out now. Let's turn the camera around a little. There we go. Better lighting for you? Maybe a little? Show, less, few, show a few less wrinkles on me. Um... I went to Lidl this morning because I know they have their Halloween food in and um, I like to make a big deal out the special days in this house so like Valentine's Day I like to cook the kids a nice meal as well as me and Steve Valentine's I just said that didn't I Valentine's Halloween there we go Halloween and then um, like Easter and I, I like to make big deals out of things so I knew they had their Halloween food come in. So I've gone there and picked up a few bits for the freezer ready for that time. And I went in there because I needed a sack of potatoes. And I wanted to pick up some food for Nathan's Nursery to donate. It's mainly for their snacks really. So it's, it's, it's basic. They get a lot of fruit and veg donated by the supermarket anyway. But I wanted to um, donate some like bread sticks and dry goods that they can keep in the cupboard so that they can have snacks because it is it's kind of donation kind of thing the snacks and that so that is what I've got and um, I thought I'd lay it out on the counter and show you what I've got just so that you can see and if there's any new items you might be interested in you can go over to Lidl and get yourself so um, let's turn you around and show you what I got from Lidl this morning shall we Gold, I've just looked at myself in that recording and that bad lighting is appalling. It is really appalling. I really do hope that I can get better lighting in the new house. I really do. Um, quick overview of what I got from Lidl. Do, 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 do. There's some new items. I got some orange labels. And then we've got the Halloween bits that I will save till last. So we'll start over here. I do have a magazine that I will flip through at the end. I don't know if these are new or whether they're bringing them back. They have, I found a multi-pack with um, roasted chicken crisps in because the supermarkets all used to do their crisps, yeah, meat flavoured, like meat variety. And then I can't find them anywhere apart from individual packets. My kids do like the meat flavoured crisps, especially Shane and he's been doing his nut asking for me to try and find some. So I have um, this multi-pack has cheese and onion, which isn't a problem. I know it's not meaty, but my kids all like them. Roast chicken and prawn cocktail. They are gone. They are gone. By the time Steve and Shane get home, they are gone because they'll fight over all them. These are new. It said new. They had another flavour as well. Um, sweet chilli chicken, I think it is. Six packs. I think this is like um, Walker's selection range. This is roasted chicken and thyme crisps. So again, I thought Shane would be very happy with them. The big old sack of spuds that will probably do me two, maybe three meals feeding my family. I've got a loaf of bread. Yes, I have got a couple of loaves where I've been picking them up from some surprise bags lately. But 60p at 60% 60 off, took it down to 19p. That's going straight in my freezer. Some corned beef, right? It had 30% off, which knocked it down to £1.1p. But I don't know why, because it's still got another 10 days on it. Another 10 days. So I've picked up three packets, because Chloe and Steve and myself do like corned beef. So I picked up three packets, and you can freeze that as well. Four packets of puff pastry. I am in the mood for doing some baking, whether it's um, some Nutella mummy parcels or 
some savoury steak slices. I don't know. But I've picked up four for bacon, really. <laughs> um, these are down the Christmas aisle. Well, I say Christmas aisle. The middle aisle, and they're starting to bring in their Christmas range. I wanted to get some of these before they sell out. I'm going to put these in with the Christmas food that I'm starting to stock up on. It is the chocolate orange bomb. As you can read, it's a moist chocolate sponge with Belgian chocolate pieces and a hidden centre of rich chocolate orange sauce. Steve is the only one that eats Christmas pudding in this house. So that is why I got this and then for Christmas Day I'll get other types of puddings as well. They were like £2.50 each, a bit pricey, but it's it will be Christmas by the time we eat that. And then the bits I picked up for nursery, some honey hoops, because they are working with Nathan to try and encourage him to eat cereal now. And they've got him eating bran flakes. And um, I've tried that at home, he kind of just threw the bowl at me, so maybe it's just going to be a nursery snack. I know he's always eating breadsticks at nursery, so I've bought them a couple more boxes of breadsticks. Some cream crackers, so hopefully they can get him to try them and then he'll eat them at home. And then these kind of like um, Ritz crackers, their cheese flavour, two packets of them. They will go to nursery this afternoon when I pick Nathan up. Some British sliced curly kale, that is for the tortoises. Some stir fry mixes that are going to go straight in the freezer. I'm going to obviously take them out of this and put them in a sandwich bag. It had the mushroom stir fry mix and the, and the edamame bean one. Um, again, 60% off. And um, it went down to 34p. So couldn't go wrong there. They can go in the freezer for when I do a stir fry next. I got some cat food to mix up with my cat's diet at the moment because they are really hit or miss. Sophia has started refusing taking her medication and um, she's she's still doing what she was doing so I think I've got to contact the vets again and see what they say. She is eating but she seems to be losing more weight again. So I got two of these like mousse ones in trout flavour two of the chunks it's liver and chicken in gravy then we have another mousse one which is turkey and then these ones are mousse again and it's beef they were like 50p a can but i thought it'd be a nice mix up and a change these i'm not sure if they're new in Lidl or whether they've had them last year and then they've just changed the packaging but I thought these would be nice to integrate into my Sunday roasts. It is the ultimate roasting, ultimate roast seasoning. And it's perfect for turkey, chicken, beef, pork and lamb. I'm guessing you just kind of put it on your meat. Yeah, sprinkle seasoning generously over the meat joint with a drizzle of vegetable oil and then just cook. So I thought they'd be good on the chicken. Then there's the crispy roast potato seasoning with garlic and rosemary. Yummy, yummy. Two of them. Because one sachet won't be enough for my family. You've seen the size portions my kids eat. So that's what they're going to... That's why I needed two sachets. And then the honey and mustard seasoning. Perfect for roasted carrots, parsnips or ham. Probably what they mean by ham is a gammon joint in the UK. And um, I only picked up one of them because I don't roast my vegetables very often. But again, we're coming up to the warm sea, the colder season. So we're going to be eating a lot more veg rather than a salad. They were 49p each. I've got all them. My usual tomatoes that I love from Lidl. The um, mixed ones, but they're kind of cutting out the yellow and the oranges. Like the reds. I like them, but hardly any yellow ones in there um and yes i know it is the cold season and it's not really time for ice cream but this was down the middle aisle and i thought it had a long date on it until um 2026 it's got over two years on it absolutely great and it's squishy dessert ice cream sauce 
Hayley, Hayley would probably love that. And if I put that in the cupboard, she'd probably end up putting that on waffles or pancakes. But I'll probably just put that in the pantry ready for next year with all the other ice cream sauces now. And then the halloween -y stuff that we've got. Look at all these goodies. Look at all these. I've got some decorations as well. Naughty me. I've got to stop. I've got to stop buying stuff for now because obviously we are on the verge of moving. We don't know when yet. We don't know when. We haven't got a uh, moving date or anything. But as soon as I know, guys, you will know. Okay. But I just can't help myself preparing this sort of stuff and still enjoying life with the kids so we got or i got two packets of the bats and ghosts pickled onion flavor they had um tomato and sausage i think it is or tomato and bacon crisps but um my kids won't eat them so i just got the pickled onion flavor then the cake and cookie mixes I thought these would be fun for me and Hayley to do together. It is the Halloween iced cake bites. So whether they're going to be like Jaffa cakes or just like flat cakes that you just ice. I got two boxes of them and it makes 14. And then two boxes of the Halloween cupcakes bubble gum flavouring. Now the bubble gum thing flavoring kind of turns my stomach but kids can eat sickly things and they'll probably enjoy them two packets of these like chocolate balls to go in my pumpkins my glass jar pumpkins close to the time because if i put them in there now nathan will eat them straight up these are for nathan in mind it is the halloween biscuits with milk chocolate so they're milk chocolate on the back and then little biscuits. And they're bats, they're ghosts, they're pumpkins. And I thought these would be really cute to put in his lunchbox next week in the lead up to Halloween. So I've got two of them. Two bags of the super sour skeleton bones. Again, to go in the pumpkins closer to Halloween. These are for my kiddie winks. These are the Reese's Peanut Butter Bats. I managed to get the Reese's Peanut Butter Skeletons from Aldi last week. So I've got these ones now. So that is all like the sweetie treaty bits. Then for like Halloween dinner, I will probably do this. Uh, something we've not tried before is these boo buns. Right? They're Halloween. You get eight in a pack. They're vegetable boo buns. And they look like little pumpkins. I'm guessing the filling is going to be like a vegetable spring roll. But I don't know what the texture of the outside is going to be like. So I'm hoping the kids will try them. Because it's kind of a novelty thing. I mean I'm sure if they don't like them Steve will finish them off. <laughs> um, back here they had the Halloween nuggets they had these last year they went down a right treat at the moment they do have black chicken nuggets but i didn't fancy getting them because i'm pretty sure my kids will not eat them i thought i'd just stick with two boxes of these and in here as you can see there's bats there's pumpkins and there's ghosts got three bags of these potato shapes where there's ghosts and pumpkins bought these last year the kids like them nice little novelty thing Again, they had a lot of other um, Halloween dishes, like uh, Halloween-themed fish fingers or fish shapes. Nathan's not keen on fish, and the others eat big portions of fish, so what's the point in that? They had, like, black churros, um, black pizzas, which didn't really appeal to me, and I know my kids will probably turn their nose up at them because of the black colour it's kind of changing their deception of a pizza so not very good uh these were in the middle aisle and i thought they were too cute they are little tea light candles but they are ghosts two white one orange one black and then i got some jack-o-lantern ones these will not be lit they will be purely decoration and then i got this big box of 45 individual bags of um little treats treats sweets 
There we go. So we've got spooky mixes. Um, I thought we could hand them out for trick-or-treaters. Whether we are here or in the new house, I'm hoping we'll get some trick-or-treaters. I've never had any. Whenever I've lived at um, my last house, we were there 13 years, we didn't get one single, single trick-or-treater. So I'm hoping that we'll get some along this road or in the new place because there's going to be a lot of kids about. So I've prepared just in case. And then if we don't get no trick-or-treaters, I've got um, lots of friends with little kids that I can dish them out to as well. So exciting times ahead, guys. Stay tuned for that lot. <laughs> um, so that is everything that I got from Lidl this morning. There we go. And um, let's, let's do a quick flip through of the uh, magazine, shall we? There we go. I'll do this one-handed. So they're Super Sixes. And their meat deals for the 10th of October to the 16th. We have baby cucumbers, onions, asparagus, organic carrots, the 750 gram bags, baby potatoes and broccoli. And then their meat deals will be a British beef joint, some haddock, pork mince will be down to 4.49. Their smoky chipotle pulled pork. And then some beef, sorry, that's not showing up right. Beef ribeye steaks down to $15.99. And then some breaded haddock fillets. And then they know that cold weather's coming, so they're promoting um, soups and bread. All those nice, warm, cosy things. And these all have, if you have the little app, um, it saves you extra money. So I really do recommend getting that, guys. Then the grains, new flavour ranges. So it's showing you all their microwave rices and stuff. Always great to have a couple of these in your cupboard. Pages are sticking together. And then we're on to the Halloween range. So this is what I've just bought. These are the black chicken nuggets that I was telling you about. Not very appealing, but you know, some, some kids might eat them. The potato shapes, they're the black churros, and then they're the um, bow buns that I've just bought. And then they've they've got all their pumpkins in now. And then you can go carve them with the carving kits. And then it's showing you all the sweetie mixes, Jaffa cakes, more Reese's peanut butter cups. That's what I just bought. Sweetie cups, Harry Bow. Lots of festive treats there to hand out to the kids. Send them home on a sugar rush. And then it looks like the flavour of the week will be USA again. All good. Good, good. We've got some pizza bagels. And some mac and cheese. And some crisps. Jumbo corn dogs. Or with a spicy tomato dip. Duff beer fireworks because there's fireworks coming up fireworks season and then we've got some tools tidying up the garden equipment and stuff coats and clothes and body warmers storage boxes carpet cleaner i need one of them i really do got a speed mop a utility caddy I've got one of them that might be good it's a portable little cleaner for like sofas and you can clean out your car and everything good idea little handheld vacuum more storage and then washing to dry all your washing that's going to become a right pain in the backside I'm actually thinking of getting one of them so that I can pop it up um, when we move because there's no pl no clothesline and obviously you could pop that up in your house and you could dry your washing in the house when you um, properly ventilate your house with windows open and doors and stuff because you've got to get your washing dry somehow in the winter. How else are you going to do it unless you're a millionaire and can afford 
can afford to um, tumble dry it all, which I definitely cannot do. So that is the magazine. So I'm going to go, I'm going to get this lot put away and um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Take care guys and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.